And I'm ready. Okay. When did you join the fraternity? In 1989. And what prompted you to seek membership? Well, that's a funny question. <laughs> I had a friend working for me that he was initiated in 79, 78. And he didn't do his degrees until 88. And he worked for me and he was kind of a scoundrel. And he t learned his cat lectures and I noticed a change in him, a real positive change. And it just, if it, if it helped him that much, it sure couldn't hurt me. And so that's when I joined. And over the years, what induced you to maintain your membership? The people in the lodge and just the things we did, there was just very, very important people in my life that were in the lodge. Otha Brown, Tommy Beats, Elmo Cobo, all, all who have passed away, but they're, they were an important part of my life. And what was the lodge like when you joined? It was a different building, but it was the same, just different people. I mean, it's still like it was, but just it's different. I mean, I, that's the best I can explain that. It's just different people. And how has the fraternity changed since you've been initiated? No, uh, they've changed a lot of rules and a lot of stuff. It, it hasn't. It hasn't really changed a whole lot. It's just different people. It's the best I can answer that. And how has the fraternity contributed to shaping your life and your outlook? Uh, it, I don't know. It's it's in, improved my outlook or not. My you're going to get me emotional here. My older brother, when I was initiated, said that I was a mason forever, but I just never knew I was the day I was initiated. And it, I mean, I've, I've, I've used masonry not knowing nothing about it my whole life. I've just improved with it. What are your uh, thoughts and concerns about the ritual? I think parts of it are going away, but I think we still need to use it. And it's it's, it's important in, in masonry, the ritual is, but it's not the most important thing. So where do you think the lodge and the fraternity in a whole is going in the future? Hopefully it'll start getting bigger, but I, I don't have a clue where it's going. I, I think it'll it'll be around after I'm dead and gone. I don't know if it'll ever get back the way it used to be. Back in the day when it was everybody was in it, you had to be somebody to be a mason. And I don't know if it'll ever get that way or not. You know, it's just I don't know. Yeah. And do you have any stories or anecdotes you'd like to share with us? I've got so many stories that I can't share with you. <laughs> <laughs> I've just you know it's just. I've met a lot of great people, and I've lost a lot of great people. They're, that's the one thing I hate about this organization. You meet people that are older than you, then you become the old ones, and they're gone. Okay. Yeah. Is that good enough?